Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan from Tower Reviews, and today I'm going to be comparing the iPhone 5 to the HTC One X, which is uh, somewhat of an older phone. It was announced in February, but I'm not sure exactly when it came out, so um, I'm just going to adjust the brightness so you can get an idea of what the screens look like compared with each other, first of all. They're both very nice displays. We've got a 720 by 1280 4.7 inch display that comes out to 312 pixels per inch which is uh, very high resolution almost to the point of retina display so you definitely can't distinguish pixels and then on the iPhone 5 we've got the 640 by 1136 326 pixels per inch 4 inch retina display so um, really not a big difference there in uh, pixel density where the difference does sort of happen is in color saturation both have very vibrant displays if you haven't actually seen an iPhone 5 retina display yet, you don't really know what you're missing because it's definitely a big improvement over, well, let's say, the iPhone 4's display. If we just compare it here to the iPod Touch, which isn't exactly the same as the uh, iPhone 4's display, but it's pretty much the same, you can see that um, it's a lot brighter and not washed out on the iPhone 5. Um, now we're just going to take a look at the dimensions and see which phone is thinner. So if we hold it in one hand, they both are very light phones. I really can't tell much of a difference. So if we look at the sides of the devices, you'll see that the One X is significantly thicker as it has sort of a rounded back. Um, at the thickest point, it's a lot thicker than the iPhone, which is one of the thinnest smartphones. Um, it's not really rounded at all. It just goes straight back. Again, you can see that the... Um, the One X is significantly bigger as it does have a 0.7 inch larger display. Um, so the, in dimensions, the iPhone is definitely a lot smaller. If you're a person who likes the pocketability of a phone, then the iPhone is definitely uh, nice in that aspect. If you're a person who likes a bigger display, you're really not sacrificing much. You're not losing much of the thinness that the iPhone provides. Also, you've got the uh, camera, which bulges out from the back, whereas on the iPhone, it's just flush to the back. The HTC One X is constructed primarily of plastic. It has a Gorilla Glass display. As well, I believe the iPhone does have Gorilla Glass 2 display. It doesn't. They don't actually specify it, but I'm pretty sure they just say that it has Corning Glass. Really, both pretty durable displays. On the iPhone, it's made entirely out of glass and anodized aluminum so definitely feels a lot more premium when you hold it okay so now let's just take a look around the device see what each offers on the hardware on the left side of the iPhone 5 you can see a volume rocker plus and minus um, you gotta switch here to go to immediately to silent or loud as you can see there on the bottom you have the speaker and mic I believe it's not stereo speakers lightning port 3.5 millimeter headphone jack nano slim slot and sleep wake on the top on the front you have the 1.2 megapixel uh, FaceTime camera and the speaker for making phone calls on the back you have the 8 megapixel eyesight with LED flash and microphone you have the Apple logo there iPhone down there on the HTC One X you have the micro USB on the side bottom again nothing except for a microphone on the right side you have this sort of odd shaped volume rocker it's kinda of hard to see because it's so white but it's uh, very long and it's easy to hold when you're holding the phone like this. I like that design there. On the top, you have the sleep wake, which again is hard to see because it's white. You have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, 8 megapixel camera with LED flash, and again a mic right there. A 1.3 megapixel front facing camera that also records in 720p HD. And down at the bottom you have your three capacitive buttons for navigating the, navigating the device. Whereas on the iPhone, I forgot to mention, you have the home button. The one X size might be your preference. The iPhone size might be your preference. Um, I think it's pretty much unanimous that the iPhone has better build quality. Uh, the plastic design may give you a little bit more durability uh, compared with the glass on the iPhone. So if we're talking about internal specs, we've got the Apple A6 chip clocked at around 1300 megahertz and that is dual core on the one x we've got the nvidia tegra 3 quad quad core 1.5 gigahertz processor they both have one gigabyte of ram so on the htc one x we have 32 gigabytes of internal storage and we also have 16 gigabytes of storage on the iphone 5 now let's go ahead and get into the software of the devices so on the htc one x we are running um, android 4.0.3, so that is Ice Cream Sandwich, not the most recent version with HTC, HTC Sense 4.0 on it. 
So that's one thing to note when you get this phone is that you're really not going to be getting the latest updates when they come out as Jelly Bean came out a while ago. I'm going to go ahead and power them down. Okay, so the One X won the power down test. And the iPhone is done now. Let's power them back on. Wow, that was a really fast boot. Um, beat the iPhone. And the iPhone is up now. We've obviously got the iPhone 5 running on iOS 6.0.1. Apple A6 clocked at 1.3 gigahertz and 1016 megahertz of RAM, or 1 gig. And HTC One X 4.0.3, NVIDIA Tegra 3 at 1.51 gigahertz. And it says it has 672 megabytes of RAM, so I'm not exactly sure what that's about. But let's go ahead and run the benchmark anyway. Okay, so the iPhone is done. I got a score of 1665. The HTC One X was not actually able to complete the benchmark test. I, I ran it earlier and I got a score of about 600, so um, less than half of what the iPhone got. Performance is going to be a little bit better on the iPhone 5. Obviously, specs aren't everything. Numbers don't mean everything. So we're just going to load some web pages up. We're on the same Wi-Fi and we're going to see how that works, scrolling around and everything. So we don't actually have Chrome on this device. We just have the standard Android web browser. Okay, so the iPhone was a little bit faster, but both very close. Now let's load up my most recent video. First, let's scroll around. So it's a pretty good experience on both. The iPhone's a little bit smoother. You can see that you're dropping some frames, and it's a little bit behind. Now, again, remember that this uh, phone has not gotten Project Butter yet, so that does increase performance a little bit. Okay, so they're both pretty fast. They're playing in different formats, but they're pretty much the same for the most part. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Looks like the One X loaded up the mobile version of the site. Alright, so they're both loaded. Let's scroll around as you can see. Um, iPhone, while the screen's a little bit smaller, which makes it a little bit harder to enjoy the content, it's just smooth all around. Look at that delay. Still usable. Subway Surfer is, because that's a game we both have on these devices. Um, another thing to note is that you can tell that the game is not optimized for the iPhone 5 yet. There's black barring at the top and bottom, so you get a very small little area compared to the One X. So, um, while the selection in the App Store may be better, right now I'd say the experience on gaming for some particular games on uh, Android is better. But uh, I don't want to talk too much about that. So, it runs very smoothly on both. I would argue to say that it actually looks a lot better on the One X, just colors and everything. Um, there is a little bit of slowdown occasionally, but for the most part it's buttery smooth in this game. So both are very responsive, everything works pretty well. Alright. So that about sums up this video comparing the HTC One X to the iPhone 5. So overall, iPhone 5 gives you better build quality and better ecosystem, but if you're one who just doesn't really like Apple products that much, you're kind of sick of the whole no customizability same OS for the past five years 
and you want a bigger screen and maybe some other features that just the iPhone 5 doesn't offer, don't hesitate to get the One X. Thanks for watching.